So Toronto Tech. So pyramids, leaves, fortes. How many of you guys think you know what these words mean? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. terminology in general. It is. Okay. Yeah, the same thing. Same thing. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you guys got it right. Um, pyramids and fortes, what they are, it's um, a turn. A pyramid is a basic turn. And a forte is a more complex turn. You stick your leg out and you turn with it. And a leap is basically a jump in the air. It's a split in the air. So um, how do you guys think you could do these things with the shoes you have on right now? Yeah. <laughs> well, it might be pretty hard because there's a specific shoes we use to do this, and it's a jazz shoe, which is what this is. Um, Jazz shoes symbolize the culture of jazz dancers, thus learning about these shoes will help you understand the culture a little bit more better. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about why jazz shoes represent the, the jazz dancers' culture and how I identify myself with it. So jazz shoes represent dedication, perfection, and motivation, which are, which are the fundamental parts of jazz dancers. So what are jazz shoes and what are their functions? Well, jazz shoes, and you can see the dance shoe for jazz dancers, and their function is that they have a split sole, which helps the flexibility of the foot, and it has a suede patch, which um, helps you do faster turns, because it's really important for you to do fast turns. Um, there's many types of jazz shoes. Some just come with like what I said, and some come with all of it. This shoe comes with all of it. You need. It depends what you need it for. Um, why jazz shoes represent jazz dancers' culture? Well, without this shoe, jazz dancers would be nothing. They would just be regular dancers. It's what makes up the jazz dancers. They use it for everything. They use it to do their splits, their turns, their needle drops, their, they use it for everything. And um, I identify with this culture because I am a jazz dancer. I was on a dance team for two years. And we danced many types of genres, but our main one was jazz. So we would always dance jazz, and I would go inside the dance room, and there would be so many jazz dancers just like dancing around. And I was like, wow, I want to be like one of them, you know, like do all those turns and everything. So then I got my jazz shoes, and I would do my turns, I would do everything, and then I wasn't the best dancer, but I could say I improved as a dancer. So it was it was just like really cool to see all these people like dancing and being so lively. Like I want to be one of them. So being on this dance team, like I really loved it because jazz just seems so energetic and I have so much energy and I just loved it. Um, the usage of my jazz shoes, I use my jazz shoes every time I was in the dance room for everything. I, there wasn't a moment where I didn't have my jazz shoes. I used it for everything basically. Like I needed it to do my turns, my pirouettes, like to do uh, my fortes. I could do up to like three fortes and like really fast. I just loved it. It, it had so much energy to it. And um, the bad thing is that I had to get three jazz shoes because I didn't know you couldn't walk outside with it because it messes up the bottom. It like puts holes into it and like it wears it out. So I had to buy three because I would never learn my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I got three jazz shoes and I just really loved it. Like, I just love dancing with them. So they made me, and that's what makes me, because my jazz shoes makes me a jazz dancer, because it represents that. So overall, in conclusion, I think it's safe to say that you guys learned a little bit more about jazz dancers and our, their culture, and how important jazz shoes are to this culture. Uh, I talked to you about how jazz shoes represent this culture, uh, jazz dancers culture and how it represents me and so next time you see someone wearing these shoes you'll know that they're a jazz dancer not someone wearing some funky weird shoes. <laughs> <laughs>